What's going on guys, it's Brandon back here again today for the second BFR of the season, BFR preseason game 2 for against the Minnesota Wild. Of course, just a preseason game, so I'm going to try to keep this a little briefer than the last one. First BFR had to be a little long, but we'll get right into it now. The score ends up being 3-2 in favor of Minnesota, the shots were 32-23 Minnesota, the hits were 15-11 Chicago, and the faceoffs were 25-21 Chicago. Power plays, Chicago goes 0-3, Minnesota goes 0-1. And, um, of course, prior to the game, Zucca, uh, Matt Zuccarello and Nick, um, Mar Marcus Foligno uh, get, get their extensions. Matt Zuccarello, one of my favorite players in Minnesota. Nick Foligno, or, not guess, I'm saying Nick Foligno, now he's a Hawk. Marcus Foligno, one of my least favorite players in the league. So, um, there you go. Uh, the game was not televised on Chicago broadcast. The only way I found the game was on NHL Center Ice on my television. And not, I received the Minnesota broadcast from Valley Sports, which is supposed to be bankrupt. I don't, I don't know the economics of that situation. And for the first period and a half, for the first period and part of the first intermission, I did not have any sound on the game, so that was quite strange. But eventually, at the start of the second period, I received the sound, and it, we, we went from there. This, uh, it was, the game was played on September 30th, starting at 6:30 p.m. Today's game also begins uh, on today's October 1st, so happy first of the month, as well as also begins uh, at 6.30 against Detroit in Detroit. So, the lines for the game. Tyler Johnson, Cole Gutman, and Taylor Radish on line one, so no one uh, has played already. Uh, Matthew uh, Savoy, uh, Ludwinski, and Colton Dock for the second line. Boris Kachuk, Mackenzie Entwistle, and Joey Anderson on the third Anders Bjork, Brent Sini, and Reese Johnson on the fourth. Reese Johnson, of course, this is his second preseason game. For uh, the defensemen, Korchinski and Zaitsev on the first pairing. Korchinski, of course, played in the last one. Isaac Phillips and Nolan Allen. Allen, of course, played in the previous one. And then Ethan Del Mastro and Lucas Crevier. So, and then our goaltenders were um, Arvid Soderblom for the Hawks. He was the only one that played. Saved 29 out of 32. And then you had Philip Gustafson for Minnesota, who saved 21 out of 23. Soderblom played well, I thought. So, early in the game at 18.54, it's a Chicago goal, so about a minute and six seconds in. Mackenzie Entwistle snipes one past um, Gustafson, makes it 1-0 with his first of the preseason from Kachuk and Phillips. Kachuk picking up right where he left off at the end of the season. He was uh, putting points up uh, at a pretty decent rate after the deadline. 11.48, Minnesota penalty to Letary for tripping, which would be killed. However, at 7.59, it's a Minnesota goal from Ryan O'Rourke, his first of the preseason from Patan and Lambos to make it 1-1. Then with 1.30 to go left in the first, it's another Minnesota goal. It's Adam Beckman, his first of the preseason from Walker and Letary to make it 2-1. We go to the second period where it's at 15.55, it's a Minnesota penalty to Walker for holding, which would be killed. Then, but because at 15.18, it'd be a Chicago penalty to Radish for high sticking, which would also be killed. Um, so it was 4-on-4 four four for about... Take 55 minus 18, you get 38 seconds of Chicago power play, and then the rest, so then about a minute and 22 seconds of four on four before the rest of the power play we go to Minnesota. However, at 8.30, there are coincidental penalties for Minnesota and Chicago. Uh, for Minnesota, it's Lambos. For Chicago, it's Doc, uh, Colton Doc, of course, for roughing. And it's four on four for two minutes once again. A minute and 13, oh, not before a minute and 13 to go. Uh, Matthew Savoy and Goligoski start going to the boards together. Savoy steps on Goligoski's stick and he falls. He slams hard into the boards. And it didn't it didn't look too bad from the angle, but next thing you know, all you heard was the screaming. Uh, Savoy was very loud and you could hear it on the broadcast. And um, he would be stretchered off the ice and both teams were coming over. Both do uh, team doctors were coming over and making sure that he was able to be moved. Um, he was stretchered off. He gave a thumbs up to the crowd. Uh, Jude Jarkera, who's now part of the Minnesota Wild, he came over, and uh, of course they were former teammates. Savoy had an excellent preseason last year when Kara was on the Hawks, and um, gave him a like thumbs up, we, um, and if, which stinks, because Savoy, he had a great preseason last year. It was, he was, if, he was, if he could have another one this year, he might have a spot on that fourth line or something like that, or possibly coming up and down during the uh, season. But who knows what this injury is going to do. Hopefully it's not too bad. A uh, minute 13 to go in the second period. One th uh, it's a Minnesota penalty to Kara then for high sticking, which would be killed. Uh, we go to the third, where with a minute and three seconds with the six on five, it's a Chicago goal. 
Tyler Johnson with his first of the playoffs from Radish and Kachuk to make it 2-1. So yeah, Kachuk there with two points. Uh, then, at four, however, 21 seconds in overtime, it's a Minnesota goal from Connor DeWar, first of the playoffs from Duhamon Goligoski, which would make it 3-2 and would end the game. So that's going to be all I have for you guys in this one. Expect another, another BFR coming out tomorrow now that we're back in the BFR schedule. So the film, the video schedule I originally had, throw that out. It's BFR time. It's really only for the. It was only really only for that short period of time. Uh, that's really all I have for you guys today. I gotta get to work now because uh, my shift starts in 20 minutes. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.